Hello everyone and welcome to Lucas's Gym Challenge episode number 43. This is Lucas's ninth attempt against the Ghost Types. Let's see how he does. So I'm going to lead off with Frostlass as he leveled off with Dragonite in the last battle, so just trying to predict. And luckily for me, I was right. So yay, I predicted something, yay. <laughs> Uh, so Dragonite is out. I'm going to go with Ice Fang to hope and f hope to flinch it. And uh, unfortunately I don't. He's going to hit me with Iron Tail, which is going to get me down to red. And I think you know how this whole spiel is going to go in the next turn. Ice Shard, KO. So yeah, moving on to the next Pokemon. That um, will go down to Frostlass's Claws or Hands or... I don't know what it says. Um, it's Blastoise. I'm going to go Destiny Bond as I know I'll outspeed the Blastoise. And to take away Luke, one of Lucas's favourite Pokemon from his um, grasp by his own actions, then uh, it'll be worth it. So Frostlass is going to go down and it'll take down Blastoise with him, giving me a 5 to 4 lead. Uh, so that's good. Well done, Frostlass. I got my Marowak next, as he has three fire types left, and I have Bone Morang, which will which can do damage to all of them. And first is Magmortar. He's going to go with Earthquake, which is going to do quite a hefty chunk, but due to my high defense, I should survive that. Yep. And due to my item, the Fit Club, um, my all my moves get boosted um, by the power with the power, and Bone Morang is going to KO the Magmortar. Consider that a bit of revenge from last time, um, Marak and Magmortar battles. Next is Gengar. Um, so this, also, I also had a move for called Bone and Morang and Shadow Bone, but unfortunately, it does that speed. Shadow Ball will KO me. That's fine. No, I got four more Pokemon. I go with Aegis Sash now, and he's going to go Shadow Ball, whereas I'm going to go Sword Slant. That Shadow Ball does a hefty amount of damage to me. And my attack being doubled and my health going back up from the leftovers, just a tad. I decide I'm going to go King Shield just to get an extra boost in health back. Now, because I know I can't take another Shadow Ball, I go straight with a Shadow Sneak as I will outspeed it with this move and it will KO the Gengar, or should anyway. The next Pokemon Lucas, Lucas sends out is Volcarona, which is his best possible choice probably, as um, none of Volcarona's moves will lower. Um, will get affected by each such as King Shield, so that was a good choice on Lucas's part there. So I go King Shield just to take the Fire Blast, or not get affected by it, and get my little health back from the leftovers. I know I can't take a Fire Blast from previous experiences, so I just have to risk it and just go with Shadow Sneak and hope it does something. And all it does is just get it to um, under half where I get burnt and this citrus berry activates, getting it back into the green. So as predicted by me, it wasn't gonna do, it wasn't gonna KO, but it did a, a, a fair amount, so it's all right. Fire Blast is gonna KO the Eid Slash, and I'm now down to my next Pokemon, which is Gengar. So I'm gonna Mega Evolve my Gengar. And I'm going to hit it with a Sludge Bomb, I think. I can't remember, really, but I think it's Sludge Bomb, if not Shadow Ball. Yeah, Sludge Bomb. Yay! And that's going to nearly kill the Volcarona, but luckily it gets poisoned. I get hit by a Fire Blast, which I take like a Trooper, and the Poison will KO the Volcarona. His last Pokemon is Incineroar, 
It's Intimidate, it's going to lower my attack, which won't really affect me because I it's a special attacker Pokemon. And I go straight with Sludge Bomb, which is going to do a hefty amount of damage. And also poison the Incineroar. I got really lucky with those poisonings. Incineroar is going to go with Darkest Lariat, which is going to KO my Gengar, which is fine though because I got more. I got more Pokemon left. And just like the last battle, I'm going to finish it off with Decidueye for no, no other reason apart from showing off. So I go Brave Bird, and this will finish off the Decidueye, uh, the Incineroar. So that's the end of that battle. Join me in the next battle where it'll be Lucas's 10th attempt against the ghost types. Let's see how that will turn out for him in the next video. Till then, peace out.